girls welcome back to my channel uh today i am doing this fantastic look i guess that's what i came out of and i'm doing a first impression on uh, morphe palette the 31 uh not 31 I, why i said 31 it's the 3502 um this palette just came out and if you guys can see look at this it's so amazing look at all that color let me swatch some of it for you when I saw this palette, the first thing that caught my eye is this two red. And I'm gonna swatch this for you guys. And let's go see. Oh my god, look at that. I think I'm not good at the swatches though. Look at that. And let's go this orange. Ooh. Let me wipe on this one. I'm gonna try this one right here. I've been looking at this one. Oh man, and how about this one? Okay, it's kind of awkward to do a swatches and then you're doing this in hand. And let me wipe this hand, and I'm gonna do one more this way here and go on the bottom. Whoa, look at that! Let's go another one. I like this watching like this. That one is a little bit light so there we go so yeah guys this palette is amazing it's affordable it's so pigmented um just everything in it is good it's 23 dollars on their website and you got you guys get all that color and um they're so pigmented i love morphe palette they always come out with good product so yeah so if you guys want to see how i did this look um just keep watching so I did my eyebrow already and this is the first time I'm gonna use a tape um, on my videos so I hope it's lined up and I already put my foundation on so now I'm just gonna apply a base um, I'm gonna use I kind of take this uh, name right here my friend uh, I got her one um, and she's like maybe I can tape the name so I got an idea so I taped it so I know what's the name on all this eyeshadow so first I'm gonna apply the contour it's a little bit dark for my base but i'm gonna use that anyway for my base and i'm just oh my god look the thing is so mm, i can already tell this thing is gonna be really pigmented so i'm just gonna apply that all over i'm gonna go a little higher yeah this wow next i'm gonna use the stone it's a little bit darker but i'm gonna focus more on my um on the bottom of my eyelid and i'm just gonna brush this in there just gonna like that there it's a little bit oh my god this thing is like cool Next, using the same brush, I'm going to apply this um, heat. It's a little bit orange color. And, oh my god, this palette is really going. Just the dot, how, look how much I get. I need to be careful on this thing. Ooh. So I'm going to focus more on my on the um, outer corner of my, eye, my eyelid. And, oh my god, see how much is that? Just a little dot that I did wow so i'm just gonna go a little higher on this orange whoa whoa because you need to be careful when you use this palette oh my god i only put a little look how much i have already next i'm gonna apply the fire this bright red and i'm gonna apply that on top of that orange that I apply oh my god look at how I only dipped a little bit look at that this palette is really pigmented whoa Get a little bit more next I'm gonna apply this color brave it's a little bit dark brown and I'm gonna focus like on just out right here on outer corner to just kind of give me that dark color because I think it's a little bit light. Oh, 
I'm trying to just put a little product so I don't have to like blend and blend and blend because this palette is really pigmented like just a little dab and you get so much yeah that's better next I'm gonna take the whisk this dark black it's a dark black it's black and I'm just gonna just put me a wing right here Just kind of wing it out right there. Kind of it I wanted. And just slide it right there. Yep. Next, I just get a uh, concealer. I'm using the Wet n Wild and a flat brush. I'm just gonna clean the inside of this because i kind of want this to be clean for my light color now it's gonna be dark so i want to clean this to make us So after cleaning that with the concealer, I'm going to apply the Fure, this one right here. And I'm going to um, apply this where, um, where I cleaned it. Okay, this is not giving me the shine that I want. So I think I'm going to spray this spray, at uh, the brush and see if that thing will give me that shimmery that I want. Next, after applying that, I'm just going to get a really small brush and I'm going to apply this uh, red. I'm going to go back on fire and I'm just going to put just a little bit right on the middle and kind of just mix the light color so the transition looks good. And I kind of want it to be a lot redder right on the middle of the bl black. So I don't know if you guys can see it's like black, black. And then I'm going to put a little bit more black on it too to give me the color I want. So just kind of mix this, make sure that transition, it don't look like bad. So I think that looks better. So now I'm just going to take the tape out and the other side no the tape is perfect the way i want it oh my god i love the tape how that thing i think it meant perfect so now i'm just gonna apply the black this black right here the fire and a little bit of this transition color that i use all, all i'm gonna apply them all on the bottom so I'm going to start right here and kind of just connect it right here and just go right there. Next, I just grab my Jacqueline Hill um, uh, palette, the Morphe, and I'm just going to get this color right here, the light one, and I'm going to apply that just underneath my eyebrow and I'm just gonna clean this up to get it a little lighter so you guys can see it's a big different already like look at that it's like a made big different using my Kat Bandi tattoo liner I'm just gonna draw a line right here and I'm just gonna follow that thing and there. it's hard to see the line when you have like black already in it but I don't want to go all the way down so I'm just gonna go halfway there that's all I wanted hmm. perfect so now I just did the liner and I just did halfway. I don't know if that's going to look good, but I think I, I kind of like it. 
So um, next I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and I'm using the Oda Beauty, the Sasha number 11. Oh, I saw this and I'm like, oh, I have to have that lashes. But anyway, I'll be right back and I'm just going to apply this. Next, I'm going to apply a eyeliner on just the bottom of my waterline. I'm just going to dart this thing up a little bit right here. So next, I'm going to use my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero to put some highlight on. And if you guys know, watch my video before, I always put my highlight on camera. So I'm going to use the 143, the gold uh, glitter, and the daydream. I'm going to mix this three right here. And I'm just going to pop that in there. A little bit more. There. The highlight. May oh. I'm dipping it on the wrong one. This highlight is like my favorite highlight. Look at that. Bam. So here's the final look, guys. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to be a little bit closer so you guys can see it. So, yeah, I enjoy this palette a lot. And this lipstick came out really good with this look. Um, if you guys want to know everything I use for this, um, for this look, um, you guys are going to find everything on my um, description box. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright guys, bye!